Hi guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Today I will tell you about one cool device, a huge power bank, uh, which we use it already for two months. So now we have an idea what is good, what is bad. So let's check our big EcoFlow River Pro and let's find what is good and most important what is bad in this device. Are you ready? Let's go! So let's go to the specification. First of all, the weight is almost 8 kilos. Capacity 720 watt hours. The battery types, lithium-ion batteries, life cycles up to 800. This power bank has a fast charge with name Xtreme, so you can charge your power bank from AC line about one and half hour. MPPT controller, you can charge your power bank from uh, solar panels with power up to 200 watts. And of course, big varieties of sockets. I will tell you about that a little bit later. So guys, what we can see now, we have a 140 watt uh, solar panel and this is a diodes, uh, which makes a proper polarity, negative, positive, uh, you can see I have a red mark on a positive just in case I do it everywhere in uh, all cables in my boat. So you see this is standard connectors of solar energy and exactly the same we have on our uh, power bank. Ready? In opposite side we have just regular XT60 connector. So guys, you can see now it's 66 watt. When uh, solar is getting up, uh, we could get up to 70, uh, even 73. So it's pretty the same. With this current, we can charge like seven hours. With uh, 70 watts, we can do it with the six hours. So we just on the limit about six hours charging time. So now you can see how it works uh, with a solar panel. You see that's uh, really efficient because you can charge your power bank until full within six hours. Yeah. By the way, you can buy EcoFlow solar panel. It's soft panels, foldable, so you can unfold it and uh, charge it uh, and deliver it to any place with your car. But anyway, on the boat we are using our devices, which we use in regular life, like a solar panels from our boat, which is on the top of Arc. So another way uh, you can charge your power bank is uh, just car socket. But this socket has a very big disadvantage, which I don't like in my boat. I try to change all this socket into XT60, which is uh, quite regular. You already know what is it socket is. So let's I'll show you what's the problem with uh, this car socket. So guys, you can see it's uh, melted because of high current. It's a quite common scene for a powerful device. If you want to have a more or less reliable device, I already changed it into XT60. I used to have the regular car uh, socket. Uh, for now, it is a little bit weird, but I want to install XT60 with a, a plate for screws, just a regular plug. Uh, but for now, I have a fuse. 10 amps for 12 volt and uh, just regular XT60 female socket. I had this cable with a car socket. I cut it. Instead of car socket, I install XT60 regular uh, socket. So we uh, we have now male male. Uh, and what we do? We connect this male into this female socket. By the way, this socket, it's not uh, officially waterproof, but I used it uh, in my FPV drone and my drone got into the water uh, and uh, it was uh, dry, so I would say for uh, like uh, splashes and uh, wet condition, uh, it, I would say it is a good solution. What is very important to know, uh, if you use a car socket like this, 
it's very important to go to the application and uh, make settings to limit your uh, current uh, because you can melt a socket so you can reduce it uh, two times less and it will charge two times more but the socket will not melt as soon as we are in a 100 10 volts region we almost never use uh, this socket because it's uh, just regular AC power and uh, in our boat we don't have 110 AC we use a 220 but mostly we use a uh, charger from uh, 12 volts uh, DC so mostly we use uh, this socket but if you buy it for a 220 you can use a uh, just regular socket and charge it from AC line if you really want to charge your power bank from 220 i have uh, this charger it's a dji charger i'm using it for a charge my fpv drone batteries so it is uh, at the end has a xt60 so you just plug regular 220 and uh, have a power on xt60 socket you need to install application connect your power bank so now go inside we will see two tabs one is a consumption one charging you can switch all ports in a power bank in your application and immediately see the consumption and uh, estimated time until your battery will be fully discharged now go to the settings here is the most important part you have to limit your uh, consumption when you charge your power bank from a car socket otherwise it will be melted it's very convenient when you connect new device and see how much time do you still have until empty your batteries as i already said before mostly we use a socket xt60 for uh, many devices in our boat uh, we have a uh, area 12 volts area so with uh, two sockets like this so we connect it and now we have a uh, xt60 and uh, here we can connect we can plug uh, battery chargers um, soldering irons and whatever that i'll show you a little bit later but this area mostly using for uh, 12 volts devices by the way we have a car socket regular charger here but i prefer not to use it instead of this i use xt60 a look at my uh, computer charger when you use your computer uh, on a high power like a render or 3d modeling uh, if the consumption is really high so you just plug this computer charger and with the time because of high current it's melted and so you can see it not work it, it not working anymore instead of this charger i connect it to xt60 socket and uh, now we have a quite big uh, even with a high high current everything works fine by the way do you know what does it mean xt60 it means 60 amps of current so we have a car socket and two sockets like this I think it's more than enough to connect all important devices by the way if you use a computer like a regular office task just connect straight this charger to your power bank and use it in a normal way if you use your old mac for example like we have a charger uh, maybe this one maybe newer model you can uh, buy just type c cable just you see it's type c on one side and uh, uh, this i forgot the name of this uh, socket on another you just connect it straight to your power bank it's a type c uh, 100 watt you can uh, use so just connect connect your computer and have fun on the right side we have uh, three sockets it's ac 110 volts uh, by the way if you use your computer for example uh, and your computer is a 220 most uh, chargers for most devices they have uh, two uh, voltages 
like 110 or 220 you need just a different connector you connect 110 it i'm sure it will work if it's not enough for you for example it is a small connector you can connect another just a battery bank and you will get two times more energy it is a just a flow socket which uh, makes your power two times bigger in front panel you can see it is a type c to just regular usb and fast charge so from this usb you can get really high amps and uh, charge your device faster but generally two sockets two usb one fast charge and uh, one type c more than enough for most tasks guys let's connect my old computer macbook pro which consume huge amount of energy and uh, check how much time it can work uh, if we have a 40 percent of uh, energy in our battery bank so it started uh, with uh, 40 watts estimated time it's uh, eight hours so with a 40 percent you can use your computer eight hours i think it's a quite good result what i want to show you look we have many devices connected and we charge in uh, our telephones computer working and whatever uh, but it's discharge our internal battery if we connect a charger we can charge our power bank and discharge at the same time and uh, you have indication which shows you uh, if your consumption more than income uh, you have like a 25 hours estimated time but if you have uh, your uh, energy which you get input energy more than consumption you just charge your device and it shows you how many hours do you need to charge it until full another one function which is uh, on my point of view really important for a bot for example your uh, starting battery run out of energy and you want to charge your battery you just connect 12 volt from your power bank to bot socket bot dc network and wait for a few hours with that time your uh, starting battery will be charged and you will be able to start your motor i think on my point of view it is a really critically important feature of uh, this power bank because it's your safety you can charge your battery and start motor uh, this power bank doesn't have a booster so you cannot start motor from this battery but you can slowly charge your uh, battery and uh, start your motor if you don't know i have a hobby uh, i'm doing fpv drone so i have this one three inch i have a hexacopter and uh, of course it is a plenty of stuff you need to solder together a lot of different parts it's a soldering iron tc 100 so you just connect it switch it on switch it on and see the consumption the consumption is a 23 watts with this consumption uh, you can solder for 11 hours if we have a 38 percent of battery if it's battery full you can make a soldering job one full day and by the way you can do it uh, when you go somewhere uh, without any electricity you just connect your soldering iron and for example if you need to solder some something uh, just when you fly so you can do it immediately so guys now we came to this perfect beach look at this beach nobody nobody there so uh, i want first of all to fly our fpv drone because it's my hobby by the way this small because of consumption uh, this drone fly three to five minutes depends of full power or not so uh, anyway i need to charge my battery quite often so i'm using my power bank for a charging battery we have a lot of our toys here look at this it's our remote control 
so all gears battery and many other useful things so this battery we have to charge this is our charging station so we have a parallel board for charging our 2s battery uh, this is a charger um, cables go to our power bank and we now have a consumption 5 watts with this consumption we can charge up to 48 hours now we have a 37 percent of our power bank charged After I finish all the batteries, my remote control discharges, my goggles discharges, I just put it on the charger, charge it until full, so I can have a small break, have a beer, charge all my devices and have a new flight again the same day. By the way, for FPV it's really important. You're lucky, you can have a sunset concert. Yes, please. It's very cool to have this facility. <laughs> Everything in one? Mm -hmm. Everything in one. So we can come to the beach at sunset, have a small party, open beer, play guitar. We, we, we don't have a cup of duster, so uh, we're using cable tires and fork instead. It's very convenient because you can play and eat at the same time. No? Mm -mm. Play or eat? <laughs> bank so it is a three modes one regular another one brighter and another one is a just emergency mode so uh, you can use if you need a light you can use it you know like uh, you can see so the light is quite good but what I wanted to show you look that's a regular fumigator against mosquitoes uh, normally this dangle is a for for a 220 ac usb stick as a usb stick so just connect it and you see it is a six watts consumption and uh, it can work 39 hours with uh, this dangle but when it heat up the consumption will be reduced to the to three watts and uh, here we will have a 70 hours now we have absolutely shitty weather all night was rain because now we are in the middle of rainy season in the panama uh, so every day i need to take a bucket <laughs> and uh, do my work with the dinghy because it's full of water so it is a good exercise from one side but i don't like it so uh i have a plan i will use a regular bilge pump so i have a regular bilge pump it's an old pump uh, the water sensor doesn't work so i just 
I thought to throw it away, but I decided to keep it, replaced it with uh, just regular with a floating uh, sensor, long wire and this 12 volt socket. So uh, now we are planning to use our power bank together with a bilge to take all the water out. It took us about two minutes to remove all the water from our dinghy and no physical exercises. By the way, it is also a good way to pump the dinghy in, but you need to use electric pump, just regular pump, like car tires, pump or whatever. It is a very convenient to pump the dinghy in. So let's summarize all the pluses and minuses of this device, power bank EcoFlow River Pro. Let's start with the pluses. So this power bank has a big capacity of batteries. If it's not enough for you, you can connect extra power bank and you will get two times more energy. If you have big consumers of electricity, better to use this power bank with extra battery bank. There is a MPPT controller inside of this power bank. So you can connect directly solar panel, wind generator, water generator. You don't need any MPPT controller extra. So just plug straight and that's it, it works. You have a good indication, income and consumption and time until fully charge it or fully discharge it. You can connect up to nine devices with the different sockets. You can connect equipment with a huge electricity consumption up to 1.6 kilowatt AC. So uh, all grinders, drills, uh, sending machine you can connect straight to your power bank. This company provides big variety of uh, solar panels, uh, tracking system, cables, whatever. Now let's go to minuses. This is very important because when you buy, you need to understand these advantages. The weight of this power bank, it's about eight kilos. In terms of capacity of your batteries, it's very good results. But if you just go with your backpack, of course, eight kilos, it's not uh, possible to carry with you. So it's fit only for uh, RV, campers, boats, or, or if you use your car. I think the really important disadvantage is if you not adjust consumption of charger, internal charger of this power bank and you connect it with a car socket, it will be melted. So before plug it in, just make a proper adjustments and after use it because otherwise your connector will be melted. You have a different uh, connectors, so you can plug type C or USB or AC. That's why uh, the indication in this power bank in a watts. But as a seller, I would prefer to have it in amps. So if it is a five volt, one amp, I can understand uh, the real consumption in a watts. I need to convert it to understand. But generally, it doesn't matter because we have indication uh, how many hours. I have uh, until full or until fully discharged. This device is not waterproof. As a sailor, I would like to have a more protected power bank, but it is like it is. Where to buy? Just go on a website EcoFlow and find the local dealer because in a different countries it could be different voltage like 110 or 220 and uh, better to buy it in a country you live in because uh, if you have all the devices with a 220 voltage and uh, you buy a power bank with a 110 you not really can use all the devices properly. So just buy it in a local shop of EcoFlow. Uh, you can see the map and just choose uh, shop location. So let's summarize. If you are a sailor, this device is very important because you can use it to charge all your device. You have a 
spare power bank to connect for example your chart plotter in case of emergency you can charge your starting battery and of course you can connect a fridge if you go ashore for a barbecue or you need to grind something on you don't have a shore power that's a really important uh, to have this this flexibility so uh, on my point of view i think you definitely need to have it in your boat i think we finish our video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel check the bell write comment uh, put likes and see you next video bye bye